Hello, we're here at the National Ploughing Championships and I'm here with Brian McCarthy. And Brian here is, is an exhibit regarding uh, autumn uh, rotational grazing. Uh, Brian, what's happening here as your exhibit today? Thanks, Sean. Yeah, we're here talking about extending grazing into the autumn and we have a number of demonstrations here in terms of different pre-grazing covers that animals would typically be grazing in a normal autumn period. So we have a, a paddock that was just grazed here. Behind us we have a paddock that was grazed 21 days ago with a cover of about 1800 on it. Um, over here we have a paddock that was grazed 30 days with a cover of 2250 on it. And over here we have another paddock that was grazed 45 days ago which would be your typical rotation uh, in a normal year. And uh, what's happening out on farms at the moment uh, Brian? Well considering the weather we've had over the last number of years and the, or months and the dry weather actually grass covers on farms are, are quite low, uh, much lower than they would be typically be. So what farmers need to do now is actually go out and measure and see how much grass they have and then come up with a plan in terms of a budget uh, as to how they're going to extend the rotation out towards um, the start or the middle of November. And that might entail putting in a lot of supplement either in the form of bale silage or, or concentrate um, to try and extend the rotation out to that. And I suppose the key point that we'd be trying to, to get across to farmers is that we need to be measuring um, how much grass we have and to make sure that we don't um, run down the farm cover too low into the autumn because while autumn grass is important, spring grass is even more important and we need, need to make sure that we have enough grass on the farm to grow um, an adequate amount of grass over the, over the winter to have a good grass available for us in the spring. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, Sean.